The Samsung Galaxy S26 series is quietly shaping up to redefine what a flagship phone should be. Forget flashy redesigns that feel gimmicky. This year, Samsung is doubling down on meaningful upgrades, from brighter, more efficient displays to AI-powered performance that could make last year's Ultra look ordinary. Welcome back viewers, say am here. Like, share, and subscribe for more! Starting with the display, Samsung isn't just tweaking numbers, it's transforming what you see and how you experience it. The entire S26 lineup uses the new MN14 OLED material, which promises brighter visuals outdoors, lower power consumption, and smoother animations thanks to adaptive refresh rates as low as 1 hosh and peaks beyond 120H. Even the base S26 is stepping up to the kind of display quality that Ultra models once claimed as exclusive. This means whether you're scrolling through social feeds, binge, watching content, or gaming on the go, colors pop, blacks are deeper, and battery life stretches further than ever. Performance is another major talking point. The S26 Ultra is rumored to feature the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 worldwide, designed to excel at AI-driven apps, high-end graphics, and better thermal efficiency. Meanwhile, the S26 and S26 Plus will use a split chip strategy Snapdragon in some regions, Samsung's new Exynos 2600s and others. Early tests suggest the Exynos now competes strongly in AI tasks, hinting at a more uniform experience regardless of geography. Samsung's optimization seems laser-focused this year, making the whole series feel faster, smarter, and more capable than the last few generations. The cameras are where the S26 Ultra really shines. The main 200MP sensor now sports a wider f1.4 aperture, which brings in far more light for crisp low, light shots and stunning clarity at night. The ultrawide jumps to 50MP with reduced distortion, while the telephoto lens receives a fresh 12MP sensor for sharper mid-range zooms. The periscope is now 50MP with improved stabilization, meaning long-distance shots are sharper than ever. Even selfies get a boost with a 12MP sensor and wider 85-degree field of view. Small details, but they add up to a premium experience that feels effortless. The S26 Plus plays a different role delivering premium experience without pushing ultra-level pricing. Its 6.7-inch Puamamid 2X panel offers QHD resolution extreme brightness and the same M4 tune OLED efficiency, paired with a nearly 5,000 mAh battery. Slimmer and lighter, it doesn't carry an S Pen or curved screen, which improves efficiency. Charging is capped at 4 5W wired and 20W wireless, but efficiency gains here make it arguably the most practical flagship Samsung has built. The camera system is reliable rather than revolutionary, but still impressive 50MP main, 12MP ultrawide and 10 12MP telephoto with 3x zoom, ideal for everyday use without compromise. The base S26 is arguably the sleeper hit. Now standard with 12GB RAM, it pairs a compact 6.3-inch MLED 2X display with the same M14 OLED tech as its bigger siblings. Its camera mirrors the Plus and the 4 300 mesh battery as well, balanced for a smaller body. Combined with a thinner design and faster wireless charging, it offers one of Samsung's most compelling compact flagships in years. This is a device for people who want power and efficiency without carrying an oversized Ultra. Battery life and charging finally see meaningful upgrades. The S26 Ultra holds steady at 5000 ma, but might adopt stack silicon carbon tech later in the year, while wired charging jumps to 60Ws and wireless hits 25W with Q2 magnetic support. Even weight and build get attention, the Ultra's titanium frame is lighter at 2440G. Keeping it premium without feeling bulky, launch timing has become clearer, too. Earlier chaos suggested a March 2026 release, but the latest leaks point to a late January announcement in Korea, with pre-orders starting mid-February. If this sticks, it's Samsung returning to its smooth annual rhythm, no last-minute surprises or delays. While rumors of an S26 edge linger, the confirmed trio remains the Galaxy S26, S26 Plus, and S26 Ultra. Samsung's focus seems less about naming gimmicks and more about delivering practical upgrades where it counts. Beyond raw specs, Samsung's AI ambitions are emerging as the real storyline. 
Expect new generative AI features and enhanced machine learning capabilities baked into everything from the camera to battery optimization. The S26 Ultra might be the headline grabber, but across the board, the series is becoming smarter, faster, and more adaptive than anything we've seen from Samsung in years. By the time the S26 lineup lands, it could redefine the expectations for a flagship family of powerful, compact base model, a practical, high, performance plus, and the Ultra. A showcase of Samsung's tech muscle. If the leaks are accurate, 2026 might just see one of Samsung's most balanced and desirable flagship series ever, where each model has a distinct personality but none feel compromised. As the countdown to launch continues, every new leak sharpens the picture, and we'll be here breaking it all down for you. From display tech to camera upgrades, AI features to battery efficiency, the Galaxy S26 series is shaping up to be a conversation starter. Stay tuned, because once these devices hit stores, they might just set a new benchmark for what a flagship phone can be.